Hey you guys, it's me Courtney and in today's video I will be showing you how to do this chevron design. I'm glad that you could be with me today for this video. If you're new to my channel, then I would love it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications so you can join me again for more of my videos. These are the polishes that I'll be using. This is Platinum number no. 4 from Blue Sky, WR02 also from Blue Sky. I've got a red from Canny. I'll put the link to all of these in the description box below as always if they are available. If they're unavailable, then I'll try and find a good substitute. I've got the nude that I'll be doing the design nail over top of. That's fluffy cotton from the gel bottle. And I will be using this gold stamping gel from Born Pretty just to do the triangles because it will cover up the other colors nicely. So I've got these tips here, um, but we need to get some polish on them. So let's do that now. Here we go. Now to do the triangles, I'll be using a little detail brush. I'll put a link where I get all my brushes. I don't buy expensive brushes, usually because I tend to destroy them. Um, so I just get the cheapest ones that work really well for me. Um, first, okay, so what I'll be doing is drawing on each of the triangles and then putting them in the light to cure. You might think this would be time consuming, but if you were doing it on a client, then you could paint the first triangle, they put their hand in the light, and while that's curing, you're painting a triangle on the other hand, and then they can just switch which hand is on the light and which one is being painted on. So it would move along really quickly. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. The red and the green will need two layers and cured in between, so I'll do that as well. And to begin, I will find the center and just try and keep everything lined up like that. The first triangle isn't showing the whole triangle, it's only got the bottom two thirds of it on show. So that's what I'll be putting on the nail. Okay, so that's the chevron nail done. I went over this this gold jam, stamping gel with the gold glitter gel, and I really like the effect that has, and it kind of ties in to the other nail. So now all that's left to do is create the glitter ombre, and I'll be doing that with the gel polish um, from Blue Sky, this glitter one. So when I create a gel polish ombre with glitter gel, what I like to do is just paint on the area that I want to have full coverage of glitter. And then I use my ombre brush. You can use uh, like a detail brush like this, um, but it's just, I find it easier to use an ombre brush. It's a bit quicker. So I'll just go in with the very tips of my bristles and drag up some of the glitter pieces until it's like a really nice even gradient of glitter that ends up going into nothing at the top of the nail.
always turn the nail around and check from this direction as well. And if there's any spots that look a bit uneven or ungraduated, they're just a bit choppy, then you can take the time to fix it now because once you stick it in the light, there's no going back. There, I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to put that in the light to cure and then everything else will get a layer of top coat and then we'll have a look at them all together. So here they all are together. I think this will be a really popular design in January um, and I hope you like it. That's it from me for now, but join me again here soon for another nail video. Bye for now.